welcome to my channel if you are new here hello you are spiritually connected with katiba that's for sure okay look why the universe takes care of the chosen ones like why the universe why god always got the chosen ones back like why are the chosen ones always taken care of why does the most high favor us like a lot of people feel like no one is <laughs> i realize this by my comment section i got people who watch my videos who don't agree with me and that's perfectly fine i'm all here for it i'm all here for somebody not agreeing with me y'all even if you watch me rock with me like you don't have to 100 percent agree with me it's no way that you can but look a lot of people feel like god has no favorites and while i can kind of agree with that at the same time i agree that at the same time i do believe that god do got favorites like not that god may have favorites but god okay i'm gonna say it like this maybe god don't have favorites but god favors people like god really do be looking out for certain people and the chosen ones is the certain group of people that god always got our back the universe really be looking out for us. And I'm going to tell you why. Like, first off, you deserve it. What you have done, like, your karma says that you deserve it. What you've done within this lifetime, what you've done in past lifetime, you have reached a level to where you deserve it. You deserve to always be taken care of and you're always going to be taken care of. You have always been taken care of. You've had tough moments in your life, of course. That's what Chosen Ones is all about. Like, you had to go through that stuff. You got a mission here. Like, your pain is purpose. You had to go through that tough stuff. But in the end, you prevail. You prevail. Like, in the end, you was taken care of. Like, in the end, like, look at your life now. Look at your life now. Like, just look at it. You don't even have to do too much. You don't even have to do too much. You don't have to work hard. You may work from home. You may not have a job. You may have, uh, you might be getting a check every month, no matter what that looks like. Like, look at your life now. <laughs> you are taken care of. God always got you. God be guiding for you, okay? The universe really be having your back. Like, really. Like, things be working out in your favor, like, I, I would swear you were highly favored. Like, things really be working out in your favor. Like, look at you. You was able to save your money. You was able to quit your job. Like, you was able to find something that works out for you. Like, you, you figuring it all out still to this day. But the universe really be looking out for you. Really be having your back. Like, when you, like, be in certain situations, like, God come through. Like, what? God come through. It's like, you don't have to, like, get down on your knees, start crying and praying. Like, your relationship with the Most High is direct. And this is why the universe really be looking out for you because y'all got a, a, a direct connection. Like, we are all one and you feel that. Like, you really live that. Like, you really have God within you. And because you are a God, how could you be like not treated as such? Like God really be looking out for the chosen ones because the chosen ones have a, have a mission here on this earth. Like the chosen ones got more important things to do um, on this earth to help raise the vibrations. So therefore you need like better environments you need unstressful environments to do that in this is why you was going to do this one thing but turned around and you did something else this is why when you wanted to do something like we may look at stuff in the opposite way like oh if things didn't work out my, my in my favor but things really be working out in your favor things really be working out for your better good and you don't even be noticing it half of the time like you were supposed to go there but something happened and you didn't go there but because you stayed back something amazing happened like or because you didn't go like something had went down there anyways 
Like you don't even understand half of the time when the universe be working behind closed doors, working in your favor. God really be guiding for you. God really be showing up and showing out for you. You can't tell me that you're not blessed and you're not highly favored. Like, you can't tell me that. You cannot tell me that. Somebody has said um, in my comment section, they said, oh, how of, I think it was based off of me saying something about being highly favored. I think so. They said, oh, how um, unhumanly or how, how humanly of a God. And what I was just thinking was, you know, God is us and we are God. So God do have human experiences. God, there is no good. There is no bad. Like God, God want it all. Like God experienced it all. So maybe they may think it's inhumanly of a God, but I'm just like, well, God want that human experience as well. And God do experience that human experience as well through us. So it's like, well, maybe God is a little humanly, um, in a way, you know, God really be looking out for you. God really be guiding for you. God be doing this thing for you. Okay. When you didn't know, like, what was next, God came through and showed you the way. Like, God came through and took care of you. You, like, you you stay being taken care of. You stay being taken care of. You stay getting the answers. Like, you stay on a steady path. It's like, that, the moments where you was down at your lowest... I wholeheartedly believe those days are over. <laughs> like, yes, you're going to continuously go through stuff, but you always growing through it now. You on a different type of time now. Like, you have a different type of mindset now. It's nothing that can hold you back now. It's nothing that can keep you down now. Like, I'm not saying that you won't get kicked down anymore. But what I'm saying is now when you get kicked down, you got the strength to be able to get back up. And that's just the universe looking out for you. That's your, your spirit guides and your angels saying, here you go. Here goes some strength. Here you go. Get back up. Here you go. Here's a different way. Here you go. Here's something better. When you think things are not working out in your favor, things really be working. Working for you. You don't even be seeing what's coming half the time. Like, you don't even be knowing what's that different thing or that better thing that's out there waiting on you. Just know that what you thought that you wanted probably wasn't the best for you if you feel like God isn't working in your favor. That thing that you thought you needed, you probably didn't even need it. <laughs> you probably didn't even need it. The universe takes care of the chosen ones. Chosen ones are destined for greatness. You didn't go through all of that pain for nothing. You went through all of that pain because you got to lead the way. You got to show people that they can go through pain, but they can grow through the pain. That's what you had to do. You had to show people that if you can get through it, anybody can get through it. Now, sometimes you make it look a little easy. So when people go out and try to do it, it's not that easy, but you're showing that it's possible. You doing the work, like you doing the work to help raise the vibrations here on this planet. This is why the universe takes care of you, chosen one. Because you are doing your part. And it's not nothing special that you have to do just by being you. It takes one person at a time. Just by being the genuine person that you are, just by being the loving person that you are, just by being the caring person that you are. Every small conversation that you have to help someone, every time that you hold that door, every time that you be nice, like every time that you're the bigger person, like every time you do a good deed, every time you share your story, you doing your work. You doing your part. And this is why the universe take care of you, chosen one. Because you doing your part. You doing your thing. You doing what you set out here to do. You here to experience. You here to enjoy life. So as a result of you doing what you supposed to do, what you signed up to do before you got here, 
you're able to explore what this uh, world has to offer. And for everyone that looks different, for everyone that looks different, but you're destined to have that soft life. You're destined to be taken care of. Like, you're not supposed to be working super hard, running around like a chicken with your head cut off. You're not. You're not. And if you are, guess what? You doing it so that you, you can set yourself up. So in the near future, you don't have to have that life. Everything is for a purpose. Everything is for a reason. Everything is for a reason. And God really got you in that way. God got you, chosen one. The universe be showing up and showing out for you. Like, really. Really think about it, though. Like, really. I'm giving thanks every single day. I say thank you every time I wake up. And when small things happen, when I find a dime on the ground, on the ground I'm saying thank you. I'm saying thank you. <laughs> And this is how I continue to see, receive more blessings. Because you are grateful, because you don't take the things that you have for granted, this is why you continue to be uh, taken care of. Because you take care of others, because you give, whether it's money, whether it's your time, your energy, your effort, your knowledge, your peace, your love, a helping hand. This is why you are continuously taken care of. So if this video resonate, if it hit different, let me know how so. If you are new here, I do invite you to hit that subscribe button. That is all I have for this video. Stay spiritually used, stay spiritually attuned, and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.